Hello, I'm Izzy Lawrence. I'm a history presenter, broadcaster and author. And what I want to tell you is a story which shocked British society to its core. But this isn't about the country today. This is about the crime of the century that played out here over a hundred years ago and forever changed the way Britain treated its most vulnerable. In the 1890s, you could argue that Britain was the hub of the planet. It was at the center of the British Empire, which by now covered almost a quarter of the world's surface. Queen Victoria, who gave her name to the period, had been on the throne for over 60 years. And her long reign saw industrial capitalism turn the country into an economic powerhouse. But while some prospered, many were left behind with no safety net. It's this setting that reveals probably the darkest crime that I know and the most sinister side of life in Victorian Britain. In the 19th century, respectable British society had harsh views on unmarried mothers. The Victorians very much idealized femininity and the principal role of women was to be a mother um, and the angel of the house, so basically to care uh, for the domestic setting. Women could not vote. They were traditionally seen as subordinate to their husbands and were meant to follow strict codes of etiquette, such as hiding the legs above the ankle and wearing restrictive crinolines. Even the most powerful woman in the land, Queen Victoria, conformed to these ideals. She remained faithfully devoted to her husband, Albert, long after his death, wearing only black for the next 40 years. This set an example for women in all levels of society. Women whose behavior didn't conform would really cause a scandal. So for example, women who had sex outside of marriage. If they were working class women, they were often considered to be fallen women and they were pitied. And other people in society, usually middle class people, would try to reform them and to help them to lead um, decent lives. But even many reformers would not help a fallen woman who was pregnant. If you found yourself pregnant outside wedlock and had no support from the father, your options were extremely limited. Abortion was illegal. Backstreet abortions were available, but extremely dangerous. One option might be to go back to your family and hope that they would take you in. But of course, the stigma associated with an unmarried pregnant woman might be such that that option would fail. <laughs> 